Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. In today's presentation, I'll be talking about QQ plot. QQ plot stands for quantile quantile plot. I repeat, it's a plot uh, which stands for quantile quantile. And this is a plot which helps us check whether the given variable follows a particular distribution. We can take a random variable and check whether that particular variable follows normal distribution or does it follow chi-square distribution or does it follow beta distribution or any other distribution. To demonstrate how a QQ plot works, I will be picking up a data set called as employee data set. Let me go to the file menu, choose the second option open. Here, I will click on the first option data. SPSS uh, opens up uh, a whole lot of files uh, from uh, in the English folder. Let me go on to employee data set. This is the uh, data set that I'll be working on. And as you can see here, it has a lot of uh, variables like ID, gender, birth date, education uh, level of a person, job category, salary. It also has other variables like beginning salary, job time, previous experience, and whether a person belongs to the minority community or not. What is the sample size in this data set? The sample size is 474. So with this data set, I want to check whether some of the variables in this data set follow normal distribution. How do I do that? To perform a QQ plot, I can click on the Analyze menu. I will choose the second option, Descriptive Statistics. This menu gives a whole lot of options. I will choose the last option, QQ Plot. Now, this dialog box expects me to enter a particular variable. I will choose the variable Previous Experience. So I am interested in checking whether the previous variable follows normal distribution or not. By default, the distribution uh, under question is uh, normal. We can click on the drop down menu and check whether the variable follows any of these distributions like beta, chi square, exponential, gamma distribution, half normal distribution, Laplace, logistic, log normal, normal distribution. Uh, that's something which we uh, will be checking in this uh, example. Students pre or uh, viable, or for that matter, even a uh, uniform distribution. We can check whether a variable follows any of these distributions. I will leave it at the default setting of normal. This is the variable that I'm interested in. I'll click on OK. It takes some time uh, to run the QQ plot. And this is the illustration of the QQ plot, which I was talking about. Now, what it does is, it compares the observed value with the expected value. And one major advantage of the QQ plot is that it is very, very useful in understanding departures from normality at the tails. A lot of people ask, what is the difference between PP plot and QQ plot? Both of these are used to check whether the data follows a particular distribution. In this case, we are checking whether the variable follows normal distribution. What is the difference between PP and QQ? Now, one simple answer that I can give is PP plot is used to check whether the variable is deviating from normality at the center. Whereas QQ plot is used to check for departures from normality at the tails. QQ plot and PP plot, any of these plots can be used to check for normality. However, in the field of research, people usually use QQ plot, not PP plot. What is the inference that I can draw when I look at this particular graph? As you can see here, you have a diagonal line and these are the circles. Had the variable previous experience, you can look at the heading, SPSS says it's a normal QQ plot of previous experience in months. So we are checking whether this variable follows normality or not. If this variable were to follow normality, you would see these circles along the diagonal line. Now I see significant departure from normality, especially at the tail. 
and even to some extent uh, at this portion, which means that the variable previous experience does not follow normal distribution. Please be aware that when you are doing Pearson's correlation coefficient, or when you're checking for, uh, when you're uh, doing any of the parametric tests, one of the important assumptions is the assumption of normality. What when the distribution, what if the distribution does not follow normal distribution? One option is to uh, use the non-parametric tests. The other option is if the original variable does not follow normal distribution, I can transform the variable. There are several transformations that we can use, like the log transformation, reciprocal transformation, square root transformation, box cox transformation. I can use the sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse uh, transformation. I can use any of these techniques to transform the variable and derive a new column. And I can then work on the derived column provided uh, it follows the distribution that I want it to follow. Now here, we will be looking at some of the transformations that SPSS provides by default. Let me click on Analyze menu. I will choose the second option, Descriptive Statistics. And here, I'm sorry, I chose the wrong option. Let me click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then choose QQ Plot. The original variable previous experience does not follow normality. And therefore, I have a few options here. I can choose natural log transformation or standardized values or differencing. I can choose to difference it uh, I, uh, based on uh, one order or second order or uh, the third order. So you can use one, which means first order differencing. If you choose two, it will give you the second order differencing. Or if you choose three, it will give you the third order differencing. I'll not, be you, uh, I'll not be checking on any of these options. I will click on the default option of natural log transformation and then click on OK. This is how the distribution appears after transformation. Let me show you how does the distribution look without transformation. This is the original variable of uh, previous experience and you can uh, trace the path. You can look at how the curve looks like. This is how the curve for uh, previous uh, experience looked like. And we concluded by saying that this variable does not follow normal distribution. Post-transformation, how does it look? So this is the graph. You can see here, uh, the variable to some extent follows uh, normal distribution. However, at the tail, you see some departure from normality. As you proceed further and further, it looks like there is significant departure from normality. I'm still not convinced whether this uh, variable completely follows normal distribution or not. We have to examine for the outliers. We have to check whether there are outliers or not, remove those outliers, and then perhaps rerun uh, the variable to check whether or not this variable follows normal distribution. Now, let me just open up uh, the dialog bo uh, box for uh, QQ plot. This is the dialog box for QQ plot. I had entered one variable, but in one shot, you can enter multiple variables. And as I was examining, uh, as I was showing you earlier, you can check whether a given variable follows any of these distributions. I'm leaving it at the default normal distribution. I want to check whether any of these four variables follow normal distribution. Let me just click on OK. So the very first variable we have seen, this is how the uh, shape looks like. It is clearly not normally distributed. Let me make a move on to the second option. This is how the QQ plot for current salary appears. This again is not normally distributed. Let me look at the third option. Now, this is the option for beginning salary. Again, this variable is not normally distributed. Let me look at the last of the options, which is uh, the QQ plot for months since higher, a lot better than some of the earlier graphs. But when I look at the tail, uh, it is quite evident that uh, this particular variable, again, might not be normally distributed. So this is how we can check whether 
a variable follows normal distribution or not. I will quickly summarize some of the uh, some of the important points that we have had in this discussion. We spoke about QQ plot. We spoke about the advantage of QQ plot. We looked at some of the distributions like uh, normal Poisson distribution or uh, any other distribution. Given this distribution and given a variable, you want to match whether the existing variable, whether the data uh, matches a particular distribution. So to check whether a variable follows a particular distribution, you can use the QQ plot. When the variable does not follow a particular distribution, a simple trick that we can use is to apply log transformation. However, this is not the only transformation that is available. There are other transformations as well that you can apply. With this, I have come to the end of today's presentation. I thank you very much for watching uh, this particular video. I request you to subscribe to my channel and share this particular video with your friends and relatives. Thank you very much. Have a good day.